So in this video, we're going to be looking at solving equations again, but getting ever more difficult by looking at equations which contain fractional coefficients. So basically, you'll be looking at finding the value of x when it's included in a fractional equation. So the easiest way to start this is by actually looking at some examples. And our first example would be this one, which is 3x over 5 equals x plus 1 over 10. And the very first thing you need to do is look at the denominator, which is, remember, the bottom number of a fraction, and work out the lowest common multiple of both numbers. And that will be the smallest number that both 5 and 10 go into, which is obviously 10. And then your next step is to multiply everything by 10. So that becomes 10 times 3x over 5 equals 10 times x plus 1 over 10. Then you want to cancel down, so... That turns into 1. 5s into 10 go 2. And obviously they cancel each other out. Then multiply everything out. So that becomes 6x equals x plus 1. We need all our x's on the left-hand side. So we take away x from both sides to get 5x equals 1. And then how do you get x by itself? Well, you need to divide both sides by 5. And your final answer here is a fifth. And don't forget, you can substitute in your answer into the original equation to check that it's right. In our next example, we've got 5y plus 8 over 6 minus 3y plus 2 over 4 equals 1. We're looking for the lowest common multiple of the denominator. Remember, the denominator is the bottom number of a fraction. So what number do 6 and 4 go, both go into? Well, that's 12. So we multiply everything by 12. So that becomes 12 times brackets 5y plus 8, keep that denominator the same, minus 12 times 3y plus 2 over 4, and then don't forget to multiply that final number on the other side of the equal sign, also by 12. The easiest thing to do here is cancel down because you don't really want to be multiplying out these big numbers in the brackets. So 12 divided by 6 is 2, that gets rid of that 6 and then cancel down here, 12 divided by 4 is 3, and now we can multiply out our brackets, so 2 times 5y is 10y, 2 times 8 is 16, minus 3 times 3y is minus 9y, minus 3 times plus 2, don't confuse your signs, that will be minus 6, and we make that equal 12, collect together your y terms, so 10y minus 9y is y, 16 minus 6 is 10, that equals 12. To get y by itself, you want to take away 10 from both sides to get a final answer, which is y equals 2. And don't forget, you can substitute y equals 2 back into the equation to make sure that you've actually got the right answer. And let's do some more examples now. So x plus 8 over 2 plus x plus 6 over 4 equals 7. What is the lowest common multiple that both 2 and 4 go into? Well, that's 4, so you want to multiply everything by 4. So it becomes 4x plus 8 over 2 plus 4x plus 6 over 4. And then don't forget to multiply 7 by 4 to get 28. Let's do some cancelling down. That just cancels out. Multiply out your brackets to get 2x plus 16 plus x plus 6 equals 28. Collect together your x terms to get 3x. What's 16 plus 6? It's 22. That equals 28. To get the x's by itself, you want to take away 22 from both sides to get 6. And then finally, divide by 3 on both sides to get x equals 2 as your final answer. Next example, so what is the lowest common multiple of both 10 and 2? That is 10, so multiply both sides by 10. Now we want to cancel down, so that becomes 7x minus 5 equals 5x. I'm going to rewrite it just so it's a bit cleaner to see. Let's get all our x's on the left-hand side by taking away 5x from both sides to get 2x minus 5 equals 0. 
How do we get rid of that minus 5 on the left-hand side? Well, we need to add 5 to both sides. And therefore, our final answer here is x equals 5 over 2, or 2.5. In this final example, we're looking at a subtraction example. So what is our lowest common multiple of both 2 and 3? That is 6. So multiply everything by 6. Don't forget to multiply 1 by 6. Let's do some cancelling down. Now multiply out your brackets, that becomes 3x, what's 13 times 3? That's 39. Minus 2 times 12 is minus 24. Minus 2 times minus 3x, be careful that becomes positive, so it becomes plus 6x equals 6. Collect together your x terms on the left hand side, so 3x plus 6x is 9x. 39 minus 24 is 15, that equals 6. To get 9x by itself, you want to take away 15 from both sides. And lastly, divide by 9 to get x by itself. So minus 9 divided by 9 equals minus 1. I hope you found this video really helpful, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back very soon.